Hi everybody, it's Jen and Erin, and we just want to talk real quick about some breastfeeding basics, and um, I want to tell you a little bit about what I've used with breastfeeding with her and how it has worked out for us. Miss um, Erin's due date is August 4th, which is actually in two days. She was born four weeks early, so she's almost a month old. And being a preemie, she had a little bit of issues where um, she wasn't able to latch on really well. She wouldn't stay put very well, and she'd fall asleep really fast. So um, we, I had to do some pumping and feeding that way by bottle. And we did some, um, just some slow, uh, soothing breastfeeding from time to time. Um, and her latch isn't as great as it should be as well when she first started. So I had a little bit of issues there as well. So I was just going to tell you just a little bit about what we did and how well it worked for us. Um, I have some of the oils that I have been using since she was born um, for breastfeeding and milk issues. Um, one of the main things that has really helped me that I've really loved is fennel. Um, fennel is an essential oil that smells a little bit like black licorice. And fennel is used to help increase uh, milk production. So for her, because her feedings were inconsistent, she would sometimes eat and sometimes not, and so I would sometimes be pumping and sometimes not, um, it took us a little while to figure things out for her. And so my milk production went from going really well at first to very minimal, where it was, I was basically only getting like an ounce. Um, and using fennel, after the first time using fennel, um, it doubled from an ounce to two, and then I used the fennel again, and it went up even more. So at one point, I was only uh, producing about three ounces of milk per um, pumping time, and then I was back up to six to eight, just using fennel twice. So fennel, I'm sure you've heard of fennel tea, and mom's drinking fennel tea. Fennel is an amazing, amazing oil. And for breastfeeding mamas, applying fennel is done just above the breast tissue, okay? Now, another oil that I've really been loving is this one, and it is a Roman chamomile. Um, it has kind of a, uh, an interesting smell to it. It's a little different, um, but the Roman chamomile I've actually been used um, for soreness from latching on. So when the baby doesn't latch on appropriately, it can kind of really irritate the tissues and cause some pain. And Roman chamomile um, diluted in some coconut oil is actually super soothing um, to those sensitive issues and has worked out very well for us. Um, highly recommend the Roman chamomile. Um, another product we have used because this mama often has gotten mastitis. Uh, with the last three babies and breastfeeding, I got mastitis, which is basically an infection in the breast tissue. Um, so if your milk gets clogged, your milk gets kind of clogged in the ducts or in, and is not letting down correctly, you can get mastitis. It's a redness. Um, it's very tender. The, the breast tissue would be very tender to the touch. It can get red. It can get hot. You can run a fever, feel like you have the flu. You can get really sick. And it's seriously something you want to avoid because then you have to go on antibiotics. Um, and then those are antibiotics that are going to be getting to your baby. It's, it's not the funnest thing in the world. And it's very painful and exhausts you. And when you're somebody who's already not sleeping, exhaustion is not an option. Um, so I had do, done some reading on how to help milk flow and to help clog milk ducts. And I had found that Citrus Fresh was recommended to apply on the top of the breast tissue and on, on the arm area, underarm area, tangerine, as well as lavender. So I, of course, about a week, week and a half into breastfeeding was having some issues and I was having tenderness, I was having a lot of clogging, I, I couldn't, I wasn't pumping efficiently at all, like it just was not coming out. I would pump for half an hour and I would still feel like I was full of milk and it would not come out. I tried a heat, I tried massage, nothing seemed to be working. So I ended up applying uh, lavender and tangerine twice a day um, on the top, underarms, and then I would massage it into the affected tissue and then I would alternate with Citrus Fresh. 
and it ended up knocking everything out. I did not go full blown into having a mastitis infection for the first time. Let's hope that continues. We're only four weeks in. And it worked fabulous, fabulous for us. Um, another little tip I kind of wanted to show people while I was here was dilution methods. So when you're diluting oils to put on your skin or on little one's skin, um, so for her, uh, I started using oils on her once she was two weeks old. It's not recommended to put on preemie preemies. Um, and even though she was like a full six pound, nine ounce preemie and doing very well, I still wanted to be careful. So, oh, sweet baby. So I did wait two weeks before I started applying oils to her, but I did the infant dilution method, which is using one ounce of a carrier like coconut oil and just putting one to two drops of essential oil in there. So for me, I found some of these, these old cups. Remember these cups that you'd have for cough syrup, and medicines, and all kinds of stuff? For some reason, we have a million of these floating around the house from once upon a time, and the kids kind of like just play with them. And it easily shows 15 mLs, which is one tablespoon, and 30 mLs, which is two tablespoons or one ounce. And so I put coconut oil up to the 30 mL or one ounce mark, okay? I put it into a little glass jar like this. You can see it fills it about half. And then I put um, two drops of lavender in it. And I let it sit overnight so it can, the oils can completely disperse throughout uh, the carrier, which is important if you want to get uh, an equal dilution. And then I just dip my finger in it and I give her a massage with it. I will dilute like this the tummy jize that I put on her belly when she's gassy or can't go potty. And I will also, I've also been doing it um, with, with, this is a lavender concoction that I've been putting down the back of her spine and giving her a little massage. I actually started the, the massaging uh, last night with a full lavender massage because we were super irritable and having trouble going potty, having trouble going to sleep, and mama wanted to sleep. So um, I got her out and we did a full lavender massage down her back and in her spine. And she slept for four hours for the first time ever. We're talking, this is a two and a half hour, I need to eat all night long baby and stay up all night long baby. We've had our days and nights a little goofed up. And little miss took her little massage, went to bed and slept four hours, got up about 2 a.m. and had four ounces of milk and slept for another four. So I, for the first time ever, in an eight hour period only got up once to feed her and that was absolutely positively amazing but we are doing well and we just wanted to say hi to everybody didn't we, we want to say hi and if anybody has any questions for us and what we're doing to stay healthy and happy please just message us if you have any suggestions on things that you have used um, oil wise or not oil wise or have any questions, just please post them here. Thank you, have a good day.